The flexor reflex is a response to pain. This reflex is polysynaptic, ipsilateral, and intersegmental. Pain receptors are stimulated, causing increased frequency of action potentials to be generated and conducted along the sensory neuron axon. The sensory impulses excite several association neurons that lead to additional spinal cord segments. In turn, these impulses excite motor neurons, leading to several different limb muscles. The flexor muscles contract and cause the appendage to withdraw from the painful stimuli. The crossed extensor reflex helps your body maintain its balance when it has been disrupted, often as a result of a flexor reflex arc. Like the flexor reflex, it is polysynaptic and intersegmental, but differs in that it is contralateral. The crossed extensor reflex operates in the following manner. Pain receptors are stimulated on the right side causing an increased frequency of action potentials being generated and conducted along the sensory neuron axon. In the spinal cord, the sensory impulses excite association neurons leading to other segments on the same right side. These association neurons excite motor neurons on the right side that lead to several different limb muscles and cause withdrawal of the foot. This reflex arc becomes contralateral when the sensory impulses also excite association neurons in the spinal cord that synapse with motor neurons on the opposite side and send signals to extensor muscles in the left leg. In response, extensor muscles contract, extending the left leg to balance the withdrawal of the right leg from the painful stimulus.